Particle collision lets particles interact with the environment, whether it's rain bouncing off the ground or snow sticking to it. So let's dive into Gido. So inside of my scene here, I have some snowfall and I want it to stick to the ground. And to do that, first we have to enable collision on the particles. So inside of the process material and particle process material, we want to go down to collision and on the mode, we want to enable it. So I'm going to set the mode to rigid and then we need something to detect the collision. And there's a node in Gido for that. So I'm going to select the node 3D and I'm going to hit the plus button and I'm going to search for GPU. And the node we want is a GPU particles collision height field 3D. And then we can hit create and then we drag it out for the area that we want collision for to cover the entire area that we can see and drag it up as well. And now you can see that the snow is colliding with the environment. Right now it's still moving around. So we can go back to the GPU particles 3D and we can add some friction. If I make it one, they will entirely freeze when they hit the ground. If I make it something like 0.1, they will still move a little bit when they land and then they will stop moving. Maybe that's fairly realistic, but I would maybe make it 0.2. And if this was rain, for example, you would want some bounce. So maybe something like 0.1 and it's bouncing a little bit. And obviously that would be falling a lot faster as well. I've lowered the gravity of this one. Okay, gravity. And if I make it the default again, it should look a little bit better. That looks fairly realistic with real rain, except it looks more like Hegel. Or apparently it's not Hegel, it's Hale. And it fits well with the car. And one thing I want to add on this is that I would recommend adding the GPU particles height field on top of the player instead of in the environment. So I'm going to remove it from the scene and I'm gonna go to the player scene and add it in here instead. So GPU particle collision 3D, collision height field 3D. I'm gonna add it in here and then I'll set the size to let's say 50 on all the dimensions. And then I'll go back to the level and it should work the same. And this is better since if the player moves, the collision for the particles also moves with the player. So I'm gonna run the game now and we should see that it's fairly nice and it will even collide with the player <laughs> as you see on the top of the head right there. And apparently I can even push the snow around. So that's looking pretty cool. Thanks for watching and special thanks to my members for source code, custom videos or coaching. Check out my Ko-Fi and I'll see you in the next one.